Spotlight Studio at the Toronto International Film Festival, it's Red Carpet Diary. There's no doubt that we find vampire stories compelling, and it can't be easy to put a new and stylish twist on the genre. But my next guests have done exactly that in Byzantium. Director Neil Jordan is here along with the stars Gemma Arterton and Saoirse Ronan. Welcome. Thank, Hi, you. thank, you. thank you. Neil, um, you know, I almost hesitated to call it a vampire story because yeah. that automatically makes you think of fangs and, you know, uh, being mm. afraid of the sunlight. And there mm. really isn't any of that in this film, is mm. there? No, not at all, no. no. I mean, that, we, we, we kind of tried to re reinvent it in a way and to make it... The only rule we stuck by was that they had to be invited into uh, any, somebody's house mm -hmm. if they're somebody's home, you know. And, uh, you know, we got rid of the teeth and we, had a we invented this nail that grows and uh, the way you get turned into a vampire in this movie... Uh, so they're not really vampires, we should find a different word, but anyway, the way you get turned into this eternal creature in this film is, you go to the west of Ireland, you go into this old <laughs> hut. <laughs> into a cave. Yeah. This amazing cave under a waterfall and something happens to you and you come out and everything's red. Well, I was going to say, you know, it's not a traditional vampire story, but there's mm. still plenty of blood, so I don't want fans to worry. Um, mm. It's some of the most beautifully shot blood that I've seen, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you absolutely. Very much. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I mean, there's one scene, Gemma, where you're like sort of covered and, yeah. and bathing in it, right? Isn't yeah. there? Yeah, <laughs> when I get turned into a vampire, mm -hmm. the waterfall turns into blood. Yeah. And that's just visually so that's brilliant. Beautiful. So beautiful. very cold. And we did it for real. We did turn, <laughs> yeah, it was freezing. Oh, <laughs> but we turned the whole waterfall in. in Red. It's very visually kind of exciting. This movie. And it was interesting that you call it a gift, um, and that kept coming up in the film. And I really loved that because you sort of start to question whether or not, through your characters, it is a gift, mm. and whether or not they should, you know, pass it on type of thing. So I really liked that. Um, that dynamic. Well, it's a gift thing. and a curse, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it enables you to survive, not to die, basically. But then you're mm -hmm. in this death. And but life. then you have to live with it. Yeah, that, you have that, to live that, with not dying. Well, that, that's where people. That's where people keep coming back to vampire our stories, you know, because uh, even if even at their corniest, they're about they do they're about eternity and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And they're about what if you did survive time and what would it would it be worth making this, you know, if making this contract with the devil or whomever mm. to live mm. forever? Would it even be worth it? You know that kind of thing. Mm. Those questions are just they're the stuff of drama, really, aren't they? Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining okay. us here on Red Carpet Diary. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.